It's Friday again, guys. Welcome on another Fishy Friday here at Bart's Fish Tales. Today we're going to pan fry delicious fresh anchovies and we serve it together with sea lavender. Before we start uh, cleaning the anchovies, we're going to clarify butter because I'm going to pan fry the anchovies in butter. It gives a nice, nice flavor to the anchovies. So we, we want to clarify it. We want to separate the butter in the oil part and the protein part because if we only use the oil part, we can heat the anchovies on a much higher heat. The butter won't burn. Okay. There we go. So how to clarify butter? I've got my little pan on low heat and just melt the butter. And as soon as the butter is melted, I'm going to separate those. I will show you in the next step. Meanwhile, I'm going to clean the anchovies. So we have the tail side, we have the head side. And with a small kitchen knife, I cut the head of the anchovies. And then with my thumb, because this fish is really fragile, it's a really delicate fish, I just move my thumb from the tail side, from the belly actually, to the, the side of the head. I'm using like 150 gram of whole anchovies per person. So next step, I rinse them on the cold running water. Don't use too much water on the outside because there's still a bit of protein protecting the skin of the fish, which gives a really nice result in pan frying. So, anchovies clean. I'm going to dry them, make sure they're really dry. Okay, so first we finish off the clarified butter. And actually what you see, there is a protein on the surface of the liquid and underneath. So what I first do is I scoop off with a spoon the top layer of protein and I discard it. So guys, be as precise as possible, but don't exaggerate. It's, this is perfect. Then we pour the oil part of the butter in another pan. And actually what you see, in this pan where we have cooked the butter, you see here the protein on the bottom. On the bottom. So we have prepped the clarified butter. Next step, anchovies. Bit of flour. Tray. And then we're going to flour the fish, both sides. And to get rid of the excess flour, I use a sieve. Actually, it's quite easy. Just have it in here. So, Anchovies is ready. The only thing what I do right now is chop a knob of garlic. So I cut these in slices. And actually what we will do after we have pan fried the anchovies, we caramelize these thin slices. They gave a nice, crunchy, uh, crispy bite to the anchovies and the beautiful flavor of garlic, of course. Okay, here we go. So this is the first step we're going to do. We're going to pan fry anchovies. I've got my frying pan preheated at medium to high heat. Then I add a good amount of clarified butter. Let's say maybe for this amount of anchovies, four tablespoons. So now we add the anchovies. And be careful guys. So every now and then you turn them around and look at the color, beautiful. It already caramelizes. I would say maybe three minutes each side, max. Because you want to have the fish, you want to have a bit of crispy out layer, crispy outside, and a bit of juiciness, and tenderness inside. So here I've got a tray with some kitchen paper. I will uh, have the fish on the piece of kitchen paper um, because to get, get rid of the excess oil makes them more crispy. I keep the butter here, and then it's time to pan fry the garlic. Okay, so we take them out. Now we add the garlic. And actually what we could say here, we actually are deep frying these slices of garlic. Okay, so now we drain these and we save the butter. And again, on a piece of kitchen paper. Okay, so I take a different pan and I add one other tablespoon, maybe one and a half of clarified butter. And now we're going to make a delicious sea veggie. It's sea lavender. If you cannot find sea lavender, use samphire, for example. It's a, it's a very salty, but beautifully naturally salted uh, sea veggie. You could eat it like this, delicious. But I give it a bit of heat and serve it together with the garlic and the anchovies. 
Okay, a handful of sea lavender and a bit of pepper, but no salt. We are not using any salt. This was exactly 20 seconds, 30 seconds. This is ready. Now we're going to build up the plate. Bit of the sea lavender. And then we have the anchovies. Then we have the kaantjes. That's how we call them in Dutch. It's like slices of garlic deep fried. So now I scoop over a bit of the butter in where we have pan fried the fish. Then a bit of lemon zest, bit of freshness and a bit of color on top of it. Look at this, beautiful, beautiful. I've got some molten sea salt, it's the sea lavender, but this is nice together with the fish. You could also add some salt at the beginning with the flour. And the very last step, just a tiny bit, very tiny bit of chopped parsley. Okay, so it's time for taste and I will eat these like how they do it in Spain uh, or many places around the globe, is eating the whole fish, including the bone. So I have a bit of the garlic and the sea lavender together with a nice oily fish. Mm. Well, people often ask me, Bart, what's your favorite seafood? Well, this is my favorite style. Simple. Um, baking the whole fish, pan frying the whole fish. Um, eat it with your hands. This is the joy of fresh seafood coming out of the sea, straight on your plate. Just pan frying, bit of extra flavor, maybe some butter, maybe some garlic, some nice veggies, and you have an amazing meal. If you have any comments, any questions, leave them in the box down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you soon. Another Fishy Friday.